Hey YouTube, it's Simitop4. I am here doing some martial art training on technique and techniques in the air. Doing some combination drills, nothing fancy. Just doing going over some of the old material that I've already known. Um, the nearest technique that I made up in this video is jab cross hook with a rear crescent kick outer crescent kick with a revert with the inward hook kick um angle in inward hook kick from taekwondo um basically the boxing is not from taekwondo or the punching is not from taekwondo um but the kicks are from taekwondo in my system since i used to study the art of taekwondo itself um, which I am originally a black belt in Taekwondo and a red belt in Taekwondo and another system of Taekwondo but the one that I was a black belt as in Taekwondo I actually got taught karate in that system it wasn't really Taekwondo it was more of a form of karate but he called it Taekwondo which um he told me since uh, I was training like karate um, when I was doing the system in that system he said um, he called it Korean karate in front of me because really technically um, Taekwondo is Korean karate uh, I mean I don't care what anybody says it is um, show man look at Shotokan Shotokan Karate came from Taekwondo and or Taekwondo came from Shotokan Karate so uh, basically uh, yeah um, basically my system is a mixture of Temple, Jeet Kune Do and um, Taekwondo the three main striking arts there ever is and basically the reason why I say the striking arts because that's my expertise that I'm actually good at I am not good at any um, ground game I should say but I mean I have practiced jujitsu before um, I'm not any good at it um, do I say I suck at it no it's just that um, I just don't have nobody to really practice jujitsu with me so it's like how do you practice jujitsu on your own so when you don't have a partner there it's just no way i mean you always gotta have a partner when practicing you just see otherwise you ain't gonna get good um but in, in martial arts you know when it comes to technique training when it comes to striking training you can train at any time either with with a partner or without a partner, I mean, you can practice that anytime, anywhere, any day, any time of the week, um, or whenever you feel like it. Um, maybe an hour before you go to bed, or after you eat supper, maybe in the morning before you go to work to relieve some stress, to calm your nerves down a little bit, you know, and say, hey, you got a workout in before you end up going to work. Um, me, I like to do my workouts in the evenings because. You know, usually after a hard day of work, usually I'm always stressed with my job. And, you know, I basically, you know, do a lot of walking around as is. And I do a lot of pulling. I do a lot of, you know, looking down. And um, at material all day, you know, giving back to people. Um, basically, you know, if they don't fit their work right. And they get mad at me for some odd reason because, you know, I put their stuff back. Where, you know, and fix repair the cart, you know, while inspecting your stuff. Well, to me, you know, working when I have to deal with stuff like that all the time on doing my job. You know, yes, it can be very stressful of what I do with my work. Um, and it's like, yes, I do work for federal and everything and, um, and all that. And it's just that basically, you know, I just do my job. I just do what I do. And, you know, and I just go home. And, um, 
But it can be stressful at what I do with ever with everything around with me being the only one out there on the floor inspecting. You know, just trying to make sure everything is inspected really good, you know, make it high quality. But that's just like with martial arts, you know, you gotta make it striking high quality. Otherwise, you know, basically it ain't gonna work. You know, if you just practice your martial arts just once a week, you know I don't I don't care I don't care who you are. I mean, you can't just practice martial arts once a week. I mean, there are schools out there are um, martial artists out there that will teach in their own homes once a week, and it's like you know nobody can't learn like that. And um, which um, when I went to school in Eldon. Um, when I went to try that Taekwondo school out and everything, and, um, this lady was teaching, but she wasn't really teaching, she, I mean, the whole entire time I was in the class, she was more flirty with me the whole entire time, um, she wouldn't pay attention to her students, and, I mean, she was just trying to get, I know she was just trying to get to know me, but it was just like, and she was trying to figure out what style of Taekwondo I studied. And, um, I told her, I said, I studied two different styles of Taekwondo. I studied the ATA Taekwondo, and I said I studied the ITF, and I, yeah, the ITF style of Taekwondo, International Taekwondo Federation. Um, but when I was in ATA Taekwondo, um, I basically studied karate in my system. And, um, and I studied Karab Maga, and that's how I learned all the dirty fighting tactics and stuff like that. And, um, basically, you know, over the years, uh, me started out working out at, um, nine years old. My first style of martial art, um, really I came across the book of Tai Chi, Simplified Tai Chi. Um, the said five amendments of set, uh, simplified Tai Chi techniques, and I basically studied Tai Chi when I was younger. Um, I really thought that was like the best martial art out there um, when at the time when I was younger, because you know they say yeah Tai Chi is wrestling. You know I heard all sorts of rumors that as a form of wrestling, um, it's a for as a form of blocking, evading, learn how to stay calm in certain situations. Uh, and plus, it helps with uh, your breathing, all the etc., all the above. Um, but I mean, I have used Tai Chi, in, like I said, in fights before. Um, does it work? You just gotta know how to use it to make it work. Um, me, I didn't really have any instructors. I didn't really have the internet at the time. So what I did, I just had my friends, you know, when, when I would learn out something out of a book, and then, or even if I watched an action movie with somebody doing the same system that I'm studying, and then I would watch an action movie, okay, well that's how they do it, you know. Yeah, it may just be movies, but it gives you an idea, okay, well, if this ever happened to me in this scenario, well, I can probably maybe do it in real life, but, you know, you gotta just take a chance at it. Well, to me, um, you can't really do anything in, off movies in real life. You know, otherwise, you know, you get hurt up. Um, but other than that, I mean, martial art, you know, has helped me over the years. It's like therapy to me. Um, I had two back surgeries. I had a club feet. I mean, I was premature when I was born. Um, I was on life support and everything. And um, basically, you know, I live to survive and I'm able to walk, able to do what I do. And um, I saw this five, seven foot man on TV hollering, screaming. My back doctor came in after my operation. He says, What are you doing? What are you watching? And I said, some Chinese dude going all crazy, beating some shit out, beating, some, beating the crap out of these dudes on a move, on, on this, on this little small screen. And he's like, you know who that is? And he's, I said, no, who is it? And he said, Bruce Lee. And I, 
And I said, well, I want to be like him. And I said, I want to be tough like him. And he motivated me. And, you know, to get better. You know, he motivated me to get strong. And so that's the reason why I do these workouts. That's the reason why I train every day, you know, five days a week. You know, even when I'm tired, sometimes, you know, you gotta tell yourself, hey, work out. I mean, I don't care how tired you are, how many hours of sleep you got, work out. Then if you're, if you're tired when you get home, then you can rest, unwind, recover what you need to do, and basically go to bed if you have to after that. Well, to me, um, my system that I made up right now is called Jeep Quan. Jeet, Jeet Kemp Kwan system, Jeet Kemp Kwan system, um, it does not have no ranking in it, um, basically it's a system that doesn't have no ranking, uh, not yet anyway, probably till if I ever do get any students, you know, um, I might have a ranking system till then, um, but since it's just me, I really don't have no ranking system. In my system, usually most martial arts systems have um, well, white to black belt. Um, but since I'm only like a first degree black belt, uh, if I end up, you know, having a ranking system, it'll probably just be up to black belt because usually that's what uh, most people quit at anyway. When they do get their black belts, they just quit at black belt level. Um, they don't try to learn anything else. Um, or go beyond that point at all. Um, I, there are some people that go up to third degree and they end up quitting after third degree. Um, I was supposed, I'm originally a second degree because um, I would have passed the midterm because I was ready for it and everything. But it it just wouldn't, they, the owner of the school of ATA wouldn't let me test for my black belt, second degree black belt because um, he couldn't trust me enough, and he said that I had too much anger in me and when when I fought and when it, when I when I sparred. Um, he saw that aggression in me, and um, I learned to calm down over the years, and I learned to better myself. You know, through on what he said, and if I probably go back there now and say, hey, you know, I like to try to test with my second degree. Um, this is, I had my one midterm. Um, is there any way I can get it? You know, he might say yes and he might say no. But, you know, trying to go back to that school because usually that school is a fraud. ATA martial arts, ATA martial arts schools are nothing but money hoggers, uh, money scammers, and uh, money hoggers and frauds on what they teach in the system. Um, when I went to the ITF school, I had to relearn everything the right way. And when I was doing everything the right way, um, it opened my eyes on what this instructor was teaching me there. I mean, he was teaching me everything how you're supposed to do. Um, he, he asked me, he, showed, he told me to show me on what I learned at the old school. He said, all that other shit. He said, that's all flowery stuff. We said, we don't do none of that flowery stuff. He said, that's all showman and all that. And he said, what we do is the traditional stuff, the hardcore stuff um, that will win fights and that will win tournaments and that what, what we win in a street fight and stuff like that. He said, that's what we practice here. And so when he ended up telling me that after I did all that stuff in front of him, I quit practicing ATA martial arts stuff. Um, um, only thing that I still kept up out of it was the Krav Maga training that I learned from ATA, which that was more of street fighting in a, in a hardcore way. They were not frogged on that system itself but um they did really get on it but when it comes to taekwondo in that system it is basically a fraud i mean i don't care what what martial art 
you study, I mean, any other style could probably kick, kick the ATA styles, but and any day, I mean, I mean, it's just a McDojo school, pretty much, because basically, they just gave out belts, they didn't really care about the students earning their belts, and, um, which, this school that I went to, the newer, the oldest, the latest one I went to, the ITF one, they actually care about their system, um, of the bells, they actually make their students learn for about four months straight, and they make them stay with it for about four months straight. And then after, if they realize okay, they're improving on their techniques, you know, the instructor will go up to them after four months of training and say, "Hey, you're ready for your next belt." I mean, and I even went to sparring night, and I mean, I was I was like a white belt at the time. He's like, "You want to come to sparring class?" On Thursday, and I said, "Well, let me ask my ride, because I didn't drive at the time." And then he said, "My ride said, yeah, that's fine." And so I went to sparring. Well, I was part of our champion for the first night, and I tell you what, I got my ass kicked in that ring, and I'm on the traditional style way of fighting, and on the ITF. And I mean, I tell you what, you know, I learned from it. And, you know, that's what you do when you go to the school. No matter how many times you get your ass kicked in a dojo, you learn from on your mistakes on what to do. And you, and you think two times smart ahead of times on your opponent. But that's how you need to train when you train solo on your techniques. You know, when you're doing drills, you when you're doing combinations in the air, you know, you want to work on speed, you want to work on accuracy, you want to work on your balance. That way you don't get knocked over, or uh, you want to learn how to keep your hands up when throwing a technique. Uh, you know, all the is that are all the above. And you got to have that warrior mindset And when it comes to training. You know, most people just do it for fun. Most people just do it for enjoyment. But me, I do it for the warrior mindset. I don't do it for fun. I don't do it for enjoyment. I do it for life or death. Like Miyoto Masashi way. You know, the way of the samurai, you know, that's, that's how I train in that aspect, on, on that expectation in, in my training, and that's the thing, most people don't get that, and they say, well, why do why you train? Well, I do it to train either to be killed or killed, I mean, for survival, and that's the only, that's the only how I train. And so there you have it. Please hit the like, hit subscribe. This is a voiceover. Um, hope you all enjoy and um, basically just be yourself, be who you are. Um, train on whatever system is comfortable for you. Um, everybody says Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is the best style. If you think Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is the best style of martial arts, then train it. Now, you know, if you think karate is the best style of martial arts, train in it. My three styles that I like of uh, martial arts is Jeet Kune Do, Karate, and Taekwondo. Those are the three styles that I like studying. Um, why? Because they're different. They're unique. Jeet Kune Do is formless. You can fit any style into one and to that. Um, but Karate is more traditional. Um, and so is Taekwondo. So, there you have it, folks. Um, I'm Seth Donald Fuller and online coach and fitness. If you're all new to this channel, please hit the like, hit subscribe, leave a comment down below, and please share it to your friends, family, whatever, whoever you want to share it to. And, you know, tell them to subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends, tell your family to subscribe to my channel. And, uh, and hit the bell notification. You can get every one of my videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.